So my hospital experience, almost 28 years ago, um, was, well, I think we had planned pretty much out what was going to happen there. Uh, I had planned it out with Susie, the social worker at Lutheran Social Services, and I had planned it out with Rick and Teresa. I believe Rick and Teresa were there after Colin was born and saw him. Um, and what wasn't really relayed well, I don't think, to the nursing staff who was interacting with me um, was that at that time in Wisconsin, between the time you delivered and the time you, you got into court to relinquish your rights at that time, your parental rights, at that time it was a six week waiting period. So what would normally happen is your child would go into foster care. So against everybody's advice, I wasn't going to do that. I was bringing Colin home with me to care for him during that time period um, instead of placing him in foster care. So what happened when I was in the hospital after I delivered him, they had him in the nursery, I believe. And the nurse had come into the, my hospital room and said, you know, how are you doing, that kind of stuff. And I was like, fine. I said, well, um, I said, you know, where's my son? And she's like, oh, he's in the nursery. Don't worry about it. We know you're, you're giving him up for adoption. We'll take care of it. And I panicked. And I'm like, absolutely not. You bring him here right now. I am taking him home with me. So I don't think that our plan, as far as how that was going to work, was relayed really well. And of course, that sent me into a whole nother, you know, spin of, you know, being paranoid that they were going to try to take him at the hospital. Not they being Rick and Teresa, but it was just a really uncomfortable situation. The communication wasn't well. I don't think nurses. Um, were educated at the time on how to interact with a birth mom placing. Um, I, they still aren't. I'm a nurse myself. <laughs> they still are not educated on how to interact, communicate well with um, birth moms um, and the whole adoption process. So that was a little, um, I can't say it was the best experience. I think now you can kind of chart your course in the hospital how you want it. I know now a lot of birth moms are breastfeeding um, to give their child the best you know, nutrition they can before placing in the arms of the adoptive couple. I think if that is your, you know, what's going to work best for you and you're comfortable with that, I think that's amazing. Um, I, think, I think whatever works best for you, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever is going to make the process of adoption easiest, um, if there is an easy way, um, and smooth and comfortable for you that you're doing what's best, I think do it. And even if it goes against the rules or the guidelines, this is your journey. And I think you can chart this course however you want to chart it um, based on what you feel is best for you because every situation is different. So I would just say, you know, do what you want to do and do it your way because um, you can't go back on it once, once it's done. So um, that would be my advice.